Hi everybody and welcome back to the Hardware Info channel. Today I do have the Samsung Tab S11 Ultra and I'm going to tell you each AI function you have in your tablet. So, let's begin with the Galaxy A and Gemini. You can hold the side button in your tablet and you'll see this magic thing. You can actually say something and it will automatically take what you say and this is just Gemini like any other Google Assistant it will just respond to you using AI. I can't access and as you can see it's saying something don't matter it doesn't matter let's pause it. Apart from that we can apart from that we can share uh, uh, Gemini our screen our camera and how to do that here I don't have this option as you can see so at first we have to go here to Gemini and here we have some chats as you can see our Gemini application it was available only when we log into our uh, Google account so make sure that you are logged into it so here as you can see we have our Gemini and now we have to tap here this thing and this as you can see it's live we can share our screen by tapping this button over here and tap share screen. Now our screen is shared, let's say something. Hey Gemini, please tell me how to enter my Samsung internet application. Sure, I see the Samsung internet icon on your screen. It's the blue globe with the orange and white orbits. It's located on the left side of your screen, in the second row from the top. Just tap the icon to open the app. As I can see here, they have harvested info. Um, what website am I right now on? You're currently on link to hardreset.info. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about this website? No, thank you. Let's navigate to the Gemini back again. Let's pause it. And apart from the, as I can see, apart from the screen, we can share our Gemini the camera. Let's share the camera and ask a couple of questions. We have to unpause it and tap this camera icon. Hi Gemini, please tell me which iPhone is that? That looks like an iPhone 14 Pro. Are you looking for information about it? No, Gemini, this is not for not this is not 14 Pro, this is 16 Pro. You're right. That's the iPhone 16 Pro. It looks like it's in great condition. Are you having any issues with it? Or is there anything specific you'd like to know? Could you please tell me what flower is that and where I can buy this flower? That's an artificial crocus flower. You can find them at most craft stores or home decor shops, or even online at places like Amazon or Etsy. Are you looking to buy one? Yes, I am. Could you please tell me and send me the link? Okay, I'm not seeing anything new. Would you like me to identify something else? As you can see, it's working as it's working, but yes, we have this option to share the camera and screen as on the GPT-5. So I think that is the great uh, thing to have the Gemini uh, AI on our tablet. Apart from that, we can go straight to the uh, main menu of our, or just some our application we want to know something about. So let's, for example, enter the gallery and we have the circle to search option on our tablet. Just hold this circle button and now, as you can see, we do have the circle to search. We have to just do something like that and as you can see, it will show the thing, these things on the internet. As you can see, the image display is a white with smartphone, as you can see, it's over here. Uh, it's like the yeah, Samsung Galaxy A36 5G, I don't know why why this is the Samsung, no, 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 it doesn't matter, but for example, apart from that, we can uh, search, for example, something about this weather. Here, as I can see, we have some weather things and weather widgets. That's how it works. That's how circular to search works. We can get any information about, for example, things in photos, things in videos, things that just currently on our screen. 
that's how circle to search works we just have to hold this circle button over here which works as closing the apps apart from that we can uh, use the writing assistance so let's for example open notes here i have prepared some uh some quick note which as you can see has some uh, grammar mistakes and we have all the things that we that are cool and we can manage actually our text in the notes gmail word etc we just have it in built in in our samsung keyboard we have to tap this ai thing over here this ai button over here but we have to tap it actually and now as you can see here we have our text and we can check spelling and grammar and as you can see here we have better text my sister and i instead of me i went to the store we were going instead uh, we was going yes we do, we can tap replace and now we have our text grammarly uh, replaced and uh, and correct apart from that apart from that if we tap this gemini icon we can change the writing style so let's uh, here as you can see tap writing style and select our text here as you can see we do have, we do have original and professional casual social polite and emojify etc this is the ai that can do, that can just change the writing style of our method so for example instead of the normal that like we have original we can set it for example to the social tab replace and instead of the old one we just we have it my sister and I went to the store, we are going to get some candy, but they were out of it. She got mad, but I didn't care. We saw a dog outside and its owner was trying to get uh, its leash on, something, something, something. Uh, hash candy, hashtag dog, hashtag owner, hashtag day, hashtag happiness. But apart from that, we can tap this Gemini icon back again and change the writing style back again. Tap writing style and we can set it for example, from this one to the um, polite. My sister and I visited the store. We had hoped to purchase some candy, but unfortunately, they were out of stock. As I can see, it works. Actually, we can see the styles that they are quite normal, not these AI ones that you can generate on the internet. It's for me very, very good plus, and works not only here but we can for example now open the gmail application and send the mails uh, using this one to use AI. so for example let me uh, enter the recipient and now let's tap compose email let's tap this during this ai icon as uh, earlier and tap composer here we can set set it as email social media comment standard and the uh, writing style professional casual polite for the mail and for example as the prompt we can tap define life and here they have email professional generate here as you can see it's automatically formatted to our um, to our um, needs let's tap insert and what do we see here is title defining it and content I have often come template this end of life, pondering something, something. As you can see, it's very, very nice, nicely written. So, now we can go back to this AI icon over here. Wait a moment, I will do this with my fingers actually because it will be easier. And tap um, the composer back again. We can change it by tapping something else here. And that's actually how it works. Here in the mails, every single thing that writing styles or spelling grammar works too. Now we can close that and close this application. And now let's move to the next AI feature, which we do have here. And it is the drawing assistance on our tablet. Let's, for example, enter the notes back again and go back to the notes. Here, as you can see, we have pre prepared note from my pen and we can write something so for example let me write uh, draw a simple star it's as you can see kind of stupid but 
would, would care. Let's stop this AI icon and stop <coughs> drawing assist. Select the drawing you want to turn into an image. We have to just circle this as circle to search. Top this um, style view all. We have art new view, web tool, soft illustration, inside tool, illustration, watercolor, sketch. Let's top sketch for example here. Generate. Here, as you can see, they have, uh, we do have our uh, star. <laughs> as you can see, it works perfectly fine. I think this is the very, very cool idea to have it. And apart from that, we can um, go back to the main menu of our, of our tablet and enter the Samsung Internet back again, as it was earlier. And why were we in the hard reset info website? Um, the thing is that we can summarize our articles, news, notifications, everything. So here, if you are here, we can search for this AI button in the Samsung Internet application, tap that, and tap read highlights aloud. Online Beeson Programs, your path to advanced nursing career success, hardreset.info. As you can see, it These works programs like that, students like this, we can, clinical knowledge and critical we can, as you can see, change the tempo up to 3x or to 0.5x, we can move to the next lines or move to the previous lines, etc. That's how read highlights aloud works. And apart from that, we can tap this AI again and tap translate. Now we can tap it and tap, for example, German. As I can see, our article is now in German. Let's tap it again. Tap English. Apart from that, we can tap it again and tap Summarize. And instead of talking, we will have the quick summary of our article. We can translate it or copy it. And apart from that, we can go to the gallery. And this is the, first, this is the last quick tip from me. We can go to gallery and tap any image that you want to edit. For example, I want to edit this image over here. So, to use AI on this image, we have to tap this icon over here, which is the AI image. Here, as you can see, we do have, uh, we do have our pen, and we can draw anything on our, uh, on our image, and it will be automatically uh, done to image, for example, or just some sketches. As you can see, it works like this. We can delete that. We can tap generate. I don't know what will be generated. I think nothing, but that's how it works. And now it will automatically add our drawn object to the image. As you can see, nothing was added. So let's tap draw original and this is the thing. Let me draw now something more, uh, more recognizable. For example, let me write, uh, let me draw a star like it was earlier. Here, as I can see, I don't know why is it like this. Well, but we can, as I can see, extend this and tap generate. As I can see, we can save this copy. I'll discard these changes. And here, as we, as, we are, as we are here in this thing, we can tap this pen icon and tap this AI. Well, as you can see, do everything like this. Apart from that, here we can, uh, as you can see, tap what you want to delete from the image. So I selected this black thing. We can tap erase it and it will be erased from our image. We can tap generate. And as you can see, it's erased and that's that, it's that easy. Apart from that, we can draw on our image by tapping this AI icon that was earlier like this and here tapping sketch to image. Now we can draw, as I said, this star and tap generate. It will 
we generate as a quick image on our image. That's how we can edit actually our images with using the AI. I think this is the best option in this tablet. We can tap done, save copy, and now the copy of this photo will be saved. And that's it. That's it for this video. This are all the cool AI features in this tablet. And yes, that's it. Hope it helps you and goodbye.